Hello, this is a review of the Fluke 323 clamp on meter. There's the package that it comes in, or the case that you get with it. Pretty nice case. You get the clamp meter, and they also give you a set of test leads. Now, I bought this one on Amazon. And most of the people on Amazon were giving it really good reviews. Um, so I went ahead and purchased it because my other meter went bad, which I actually just sent back. I had an ideal uh, clamp meter, Sphere. And actually, I think it's going to be covered under warranty, so I actually was able to just send that back in. Pretty cool. But um, the review is going to be on this Fluke meter. And I've always liked Fluke uh, products. You know, I have some of their ring out test voltage test meters um, and I always use those, those are some of the best that you can use. But I did end up having a problem with this and it actually took me a minute to figure out exactly what it was. Now everything on here works, all the settings work, but the problem I was finding is that when I would take these, uh, the plug-ins for the test leads plug in right here on the bottom. Now these are the test leads that came with this fluke and I don't know if you'll be able to really tell but as you see as I push these in they barely go inside of the meter. They just barely go in there and I mean literally I can just barely pull on them and they fall back out. So, I mean, I could walk around with this thing and these test leads will pretty much just fall out of the meter. And I wasn't able to get readings when I first plugged it in and tried to get voltage readings. I couldn't get anything. And then I noticed that when I began to push down, push on these leads and kind of hold them in there with my thumb, then that it would start working. And I thought that there was something wrong with the meter at first, but... Um, then I decided to get my old leads out, my older leads from my ideal, which when I compared the leads to each other, I could tell right off that the leads in my old ideal meter were much more high quality. And when I plugged them in, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but they actually go in and kind of almost click in, snap in real easy but these other leads do not do that um, and now the meter works fine it works fine with these leads so that's what I came to find out is I don't know if it's something new that Fluke is doing I didn't see really anybody else writing about this issue but um, the number on these leads if you end up getting this and you're having the same issue these are TL75. That is the, the number on the leads that come with the Fluke 323. Um, possibly they're giving different ones and the better and the higher uh, higher meters. Um, but that's what came with this one. And they don't work. They're junk. And I had to call Fluke and basically Fluke now is going to send me out a new set of test leads. At first they said, well, we're just going to replace these. And I said, well, what good is that going to do if they're not working? If they don't work, that's not going to do me any good. So I guess they're going to send me out TL-71s. And hopefully they'll work. Um, you know, I do have this other set of leads here that seem to be working fine, which is good. But, uh, you know, I just don't like the fact that I'm buying something that's supposedly a high-quality product like Fluke and they're putting in leads that are no good and I don't know if this is some kind of manufacturer defect or if they're just they you know they look to me like they're just really cheap leads and they just don't work as they're supposed to I'm not exactly sure what it is but um, if you buy one of these fluke 323's you might possibly run into that problem and if you do you know, that's all that it is, and Fluke will replace them. You know, like I said, the meter seems to be a really good meter, and it works fine with 
these other leads in there, I have no problem with it. But, uh, you know, I still give them a three star on that out of five because just because they're putting in, you know, crappy made in China products in a high quality fluke. So hopefully me complaining to them about this will get them to, you know, look at it and make sure it's not some issue that's going on with all of their products and they start putting leads in there that actually work. So this actually, their leads, the leads that they put in there actually say fluke right on them. So you can see that right there. So why these leads don't work, I have no idea. I don't know if it's a manufacturer defect or if it's just something with all of them that they're making now. And, uh, the leads are just no good, but uh, Fluke should fix this, and um, I really hope they do so that other people don't have a problem with that because who wants to, you know, have a meter where I'm at an electrical panel and I have to sit there and fidget around and mess around with the leads to get it to work. I mean, that's just, it's not safe, it's not ideal, and, uh, you know, I'm not going to spend the money on a meter like that and then not have it work correctly, so... You know, they're either going to replace my stuff or <laughs> give me something that works or I'm not going to buy their products anymore. And that's all there is to it. So, that's my review on the Fluke. Um, hope that helped you if you're having the same problem. So, have a good day. God bless. Hello. This is a review of the Fluke 323 clamp-on meter. There's the package that it comes in, or the case that you get with it. Pretty nice case. You get the clamp meter. And the 